Hi you guys, welcome to the night life. A day in the life of a night. Hope you guys are doing okay. It's cold out here. I don't know what part of the country you're in, but it is cold. I'm in Maryland and it's cold. Um, so I wanted to come on here and talk about, um, again, what the channel is gonna be about. It's gonna be about everything, finances, um, I like to juice, so I'm going to throw some juicing videos in there. Um, you'll get to meet my pets. I have two cats, and my we have a dog named Tillman. We have a dog named Lola, and we have um, just a house full of, of furry little friends that I want to introduce you to. There's my grand kitty. Cricket, um, so you'll get to meet her eventually. I'll introduce you to my daughters, and you'll get to meet um, Mr. Knight, mm, my baby. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to come on here and say hi and um, see how everybody's doing. I see everybody on um, social media posting their um, their 10 year challenges. Now, I don't know. I don't necessarily have a picture. I do have a picture from 10 years ago, probably. But my 10-year challenge probably be like how my credit was 10 years ago and how it is now. I'm going to post that. That sounds good, huh? I think I'm going to do that. Have you guys been keeping track of how much stuff costs? Like... Since the start of COVID, the cost of like food has gone up, the cost of gas has gone up, like everything, like everything is so high, like price wise, it's like ridiculous. Um, I don't understand it. It's just crazy. So right now I'm on my way to the store. I'm on a quick break from work on my lunch break and the store is not too far away um, from my house. So. What I'm trying to do, what I'm going to do is pick up some, I want to detox. Like I said that I like to juice, so I'm going to make a detox juice um, because I feel bloated from eating a bunch of carbs and just eating badly. So I want to do a flush. And so I am going to make another green juice. Now I promise you, I'm going to make some other types of juices, but... Right now, I'm kind of focused on um, detoxing, detoxing, and I'll show you some recipes that you can you can um, make to detox. Um, and I want to go over how to juice, how to clean your produce, um, just from start to finish, because. I oftentimes, when I was juicing before and I was documenting it, when I was vlogging it. <laughs> When I was blogging it, um, I kind of didn't go over like certain things, and I, I kind of want to back up and start from the ground up as if you have never juiced. Um, there are people out there that want to juice that just don't know how to juice. So I am going to start a series because I don't want to inundate this channel with just juicing videos. But I'm going to start a series of how to juice, um, the best tips and tricks, how to juice recipes, how to clean your produce, um, the difference between blending and juicing, um, the difference between the juicers, what to do if you don't have a blend, if you don't have a juicer, um, because you can juice without a juicer. Um, that's how I started juicing. I didn't have a, I didn't have a juicer, so I started with a blender actually, and I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to show you how to juice without a blender. And I'm going to show you the juicers that I have. Um, the one I started with, the one that I had kind of in the middle and the one I have now, which you've seen, it's the Nama J2. But um, yeah, I plan on going into detail, so I, but I don't want to inundate this channel with just juicing videos. And I definitely want your feedback. Um, and if you like the video, if you like my video, please like it. I want to be your friend. Like it, like it, comment, share, subscribe, because that's going to help me grow. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to our adventure.
Does anyone else ever get excited about the produce section like I do? Look at this. Mm. I love this. The produce section. I need to grab some le some um, celery. Look at that pretty cabbage. I need to grab some cucumbers. Now, they got the English cucumbers that are shrink wrapped, and they have the ones that are, um, they're, they have the wax on them, and there is a difference between them. So you got to be careful when you're juicing these. Um, if you don't get the wax off, that's going to end up in your juice. So um, I'm going to opt for these right now. But um, that's going to go in my detox juice. And I, they don't have any ginger. So I'm going to have to go to another store to get some ginger. I also need some cilantro to go into my detox juice and some parsley so here is the parsley hmm. oh, no. that doesn't look too good this bunch no slim pickings Have you ever watched that movie, The Hunger Games? That's how I feel in the supermarket. <clears throat> there was like, the shelves are bare. And I had three little bags of food and spent 90 bucks. It's like, <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my camera's not focusing. Camera's not focusing at all. Oh, there we go. Oh, good morning. <sighs> good morning. Good morning. It is my day off, and yes, my hair is not done. So this is a real life. I love y'all. So yeah, I can share this with y'all, right? I'm dressed. I'm dressed. But I still got my hair scarf on though. And the cats are going crazy because they want their treats. Good morning, Felix. Good morning, Seven. Say good morning. Say good morning. They're not going to say good morning. Anyway, it is beautiful Friday morning. It is January 7th. My day off. Um, not too much planned for the day. Just catching up. Hi. You never want to say anything to the video, but you're sweating me. Sweating me for a treat. Gave the cats their treat. Now I can get my coffee. My decaf coffee. <sighs> That's the pantry. It's a hot mess, but it's the pantry nonetheless. <sighs> so what's up with you guys? What are you guys doing today? So I'm waiting for the yummy goodness to warm up and you guys I switched to decaf coffee it'll be almost well it'll be a year in April since I've been on decaf coffee um, oh, it's been good it's been good I noticed that I don't have the energy crashes I have been drinking also st this stuff called uh, and I did a video about this before this is my other pantry we have two pantries one is like really small um and the other one is bigger the other one is bigger but um what i was going to say is i have this stuff called creo brew that stuff right there and i can't pull it out um because there's jars of spaghetti sauce in front of it and i don't want to break them but i also drink that it's called creo brew it's ground um cocoa beans and it comes in different flavors um i also drink that in addition to decaf coffee because it doesn't give you like the the energy crash but um that's seven 
Hi Seven. You'll find him in the videos a lot because he's just sweating me all the time. Right? Say hi to the people. Say hi. Say hello. Oh, now you got nothing to say since I'm videoing you. But I promise you, you guys, he was just sweating me and like rubbing up against my leg and uh, making all kinds of noises. Say hi. Say hi. Nothing. Silence. The first time shouldn't come from us. But I don't know if I'm going to be back in time. Mm. Or else I have to wake up super, super early. Oh, <laughs> giving up kisses. Oh, goodness. Good morning. I'm up at the butt crack of dawn. I need to get out the house and I'm bringing you with me to run some errands. We are off to the stuff on this cold Saturday morning. And it is um, Saturday, January 15th. <sighs> Let's go. Yo, when I go out, I try to do a preemptive strike. I got my juice in my bag. See my beet juice. Got some beet juice there. So if I have a temptation to get hungry, I'll just grab my juice and start drinking that. So, what's everybody's Saturday looking like? So, mine's is looking like I'm running errands on this cold Saturday morning. And I try to do it early because, look at this fool. Mm, mm, mm. He was just going to cut the turn. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. Anyway, back to what I was, I, I lost my train of thought. I was just saying, like, what I'm doing today. So, just going out lately with um, Omicron or pandemic I try to get up early on Saturdays or, or whatever day um, I'm off uh, and do my errands I need to start doing better time management rather than cram everything into Saturdays because I want to spend more time with my family you know, I don't want to spend every weekend running errands, so maybe sometime during the week, like on my lunch break, I can go run an errand here, go run an errand, and you know, within the time allotted, of course, go run some errands so that that's one less thing I have to do on Saturday or Sunday, or after work. But now, I know me, because after work, I'm exhausted mentally, and I just want to get into my pajamas at 4 30. <laughs> don't act like it's me got me in my pajamas at 4 30. um so anyway i was going to say that maybe i could in the event in the effort to conserve time do some errands after work just a couple i know now with the daylight saving time it's kind of dark and i don't like to be out like in in the dark doing like stuff like that you know that's just me I'm weird like that um, so yeah I'm gonna try and do that I don't even know if my stores are open it's like really early well it's just now eight o'clock now I could I was up and I should have been out of the house oh I wonder what they're doing there I should have been out of the house way earlier Wow, way earlier but here it is eight o'clock and you know it is what it is so I wonder, see they're salting the road, so I think there there's a big storm coming. But yeah, sometimes like when I go to the store also, I'll get, even though we don't, we're not completely out of something, I'll get something knowing that, you know, hey, we're getting towards the end of something, so I'll get it. But I'm not that person that, that well, yes I am, because I'll buy extras of stuff. Now, now I know what you're thinking. You're that person that gets too much and the person, that's why the shelves are bare. No, no, and no. Look at this fool here, Lord Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, I am not that person. I need to go to the ATM. I am not that person, but I do get enough so that I'm not running to the store crazy, making multiple, multiple trips, especially in a pandemic, you know? I try to limit my outings. I'm, I'm very safe that way. I try to limit all my outings and I definitely mask up. 
but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm rambling now but I'll be back and in an effort to budget I'm getting cash so I don't have to swipe I, I tend to spend more when I swipe because I, I I don't know I know there's not an endless supply of money at the end of the card but you know you can get you can get uh, lost so the other day I said that I am going to get cash out and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to get cash out be right back. The next day. Off to work. Oh, good afternoon, YouTube. I am on my way home. I always talk to you guys in the car, seems like. And right now, I'm in the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A. Who don't like Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A is a well-oiled machine. The, like, the rest of the world should take a lesson from Chick-fil-A. They're so efficient. A few moments later. I mean, this line was long and I didn't even have to wait long. I mean, wow. So, yup, that's me coming home from work. Hey. Yo, Chick-fil-A was good. Introducing Felix. Felix the cat. This is Seven. And Tillman. Our little pug Lola, Pugsy Wugsy. Oh, there she is again. And Queen Cricket, my grand kitty. My daughters Camilla and Sierra. And my love, my love, my baby, Mr. Knight. Thanks for watching.